Love with my heart. 
Brian, we're an electrical engineering company. We don't have electrical problems. <laughs> well, we're gonna sit here and wait. <laughs> And then go backwards. And then go to figure it. But yeah, Teams, I will say Teams is nice for that, where it senses if it's a computer voice or not and will just automatically drop the call. It's obnoxious because you answer it and then no one's there, but at least I don't have to listen to the lady ask me. Yep. Come outside the the okay, because I've had that happen once on my phone when I've answered a team's call, but okay, that's good to know. So we're going into a squat here, and then we're just going to pick up our knee. See, I can't figure out how I can turn off like Teams notifications, so I can get I can get rid of all my messages and stuff. But then if Teams calls me, I still get the phone call no matter what setting I'm on. So it's like I can get rid of all every other Teams notification except for the phone call ones. No, it's my personal, so it's just. I did the whole little like agreement thing. Mainly, I wasn't a fan of it at first, but then when I started traveling, and then when I was the only one down here, it got super helpful. Because I, if I'm like, walk around the gym, it's so obnoxious. So people are like, I'm trying to get in touch with you. I'm like, the only person here. What do you want me to do? Heel to your butt, and then bend knee at the waist, and back up. I will say a game changer was the newest iPhone update where they have like different focus levels. Like well, you used to be able to do not disturb. And now you can set like a personal business, work, driving, and different things. So you can set who can give you notifications in each of those. So as soon as I leave each day, I set it over to personal. And that way I don't get like my boss and my coworker have my personal text message, like personal number, and they can text me. But that's the only notifications I'll get from like just a moment ago. which is, was nice. We were both sitting here Go ahead and use the lives. railing so or the wall, and we're just going to swing our leg. To sing. We're all Are you a two-phone person or a one-phone person, Brian? One phone. Sing. We're all SDL phone? I always am interested to see how people feel about that. Go ahead and switch over to the other side. Because I guess y'all doesn't care. I mean, they say it's your phone. The I've already done so many things. Uh huh. Oh, they could do anything they want to. It's just how much are they going to? I will say the one thing that's annoying is the alphanumeric password sometimes. Sometimes I wish I could just have four numbers. <laughs> yeah, it's basically the same thing. They, there's a few differences as to how much they can control. So, hands straight out. From here, you're going to like punch forward just your shoulder blades. So you can see it's a very small movement. And then you're going to squeeze those shoulder blades together. So forward, punch, and then retract. It's like they can't control my contacts. And they can't see it's on my phone except for what's like the approved apps. So like, in theory, they can see anything on your phone and they can't see anything on mine. It's a very minute differences. 
The only reason I could see, we're doing bills here, working on the upper body to lower body separation. So see if you can twist your upper body without moving your hips. I could see where two phones would be nice just to get rid of, like, when I'm off, I can just set down my work phone. This thing. That's the only place I would see where it would be nice. Yep. That's why as soon as I walk out of this building, it goes on personal. Because I will do the exact same thing. Okay, last one. We're going to walk on our toes. Hop. And then I walk on your toes. I was on a trip. This one we were in Chicago. And one of the people on it they had two different phones and they said like there was a place in their house where they put their work phone but they're like I'm not always the best at staying away from it and one time it made a noise and their kid brought it to them and said here do you need your your phone and she's like I'm changing that (laughs) like that was the that was the big kicker of yeah I should probably change what I'm doing if my kid knows my my work phone needs to be brought to me Okie dokie. So today's workout is mostly legs. We have some pretty big lift ones, and then we have some accessory moves at the end. So the first one is a sumo squat. So you can either hold your weight here, or you can hold it here. We've done these before, toes pointed out, knees still tracking in line with the toes, and still those good squat forms. So hips move first, not your knees. So we want to see unlock the hips, go down, Speaking of phones, so then you're here, you're going down, and then you're squeezing through the insides of your legs as you come back up. Then you're going to grab your lighter dumbbell for a dumbbell swing. Okay, we've done these before. We did them kind of the other day when we were doing the two-part swing. But it's just a single arm here, keeping that shoulder nice and controlled so your shoulder isn't just hanging. It's controlled, popping forward with those hips all the way up. All the way down, up, and then down. And you'll just switch hands each time. Then we have a pause squat. So you can use a weight, or you don't have to use a weight. I don't care. But you're going to be here. This is at your own tempo, but it's a very slow tempo. So going down, getting to your bottom. Pause. Two, three. Stand up. Okay? So... The big thing about this one is you have to take a pause. I want to see a full stop, hold, and then stand back up. Nope, it can be a normal squat at that point. But the big thing is I don't want to see you go down and then it's like slowly, okay, now I'm done. That's not a pause. Full and complete stop. Do not blow through the stop sign. Yeah, no California stop. (laughs) That's funny. I never heard that before. I like that one. No, from South Carolina, who are a little too far away. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Maybe that hasn't made it to South Carolina yet. <laughs> so then we're going to go into monster walks. So you're squatted down, same position. You're stepping back. However, I never want to see that toe open up, okay? So you reach back as far as you can with that toe still forward. And then you go back, come, grab your um, balance, stationary falling, and those toes should never turn out. I don't care how far back you step, just do not let that toe turn out, okay? This is all about using the backs of your legs and the sides of your glutes. Once you reach your end, your wall, just turn around and start going backwards again. Then we're going to move on to the ground. So if you want to, we have those green pads on top. You're welcome to grab those if you need them for your knees. First move is going to be a donkey kick. We've done this before, so you're here. The sole of your shoe is going straight to the ceiling. So a nice, solid base. You're supporting yourself on your shoulders. You're not just hanging. And then you're pushing, pushing, pushing here. We'll do that 
for about 25 seconds, then we'll switch for the other 20, 25 seconds. The big thing here is that it's not like a swing up. You're just holding and then you're just contracting at the very top. Then we're gonna go into fire hydrant, same thing here. We'll do 20, 25 seconds, then we'll switch. But leg going straight out, same thing as the monster walks, is as soon as your hips have to open up, you've gone too far. So you're here, nice flat back, keep those hips as level as possible, go there, ease your way back down, don't roll the hips. Then the very last one, bird dogs. So we're basically doing all those same things. Now we're just adding them together. So hand and knee come together and then a straight arm, straight leg out. As soon as you have to like arch your back, you've gone too far. So again, keep those hips flat, keep that back flat, nice straight line, and then ease your way back. We'll do half the time on one, half the time. We'll switch to the other side. Any comments, questions, concerns? First, I'm work. Get set. Go. Toys, toes pointed out. Still knees in line with those toes. Squeezing through your inner thighs on your way up. Make sure wherever you're holding that weight here, it stays the same. You're not reaching for the ground. You're sitting down between your heels, not over your heels. Move those hips more than you move the knees at first. Good job. Go ahead and grab your lighter weight. Switch over some dumbbell swings. So remember, pop those hips forward, get the weight up, and then you're switching hands. Remember, this is all about keeping that back flat, but it's about being explosive through the hips to get that weight moving, just like we did with two hands. Whoa. Doing the circus over there, Bill? You, you can just hand it till over one. <laughs> I know they're doing concrete work in your area, but soon they're going to be asking you to do concrete work over here. Drop that on the ground. I just watched. That's right. They sent you down for walk. They sent you home for watching too much. Excellent. Okay. Remember, pause squats. I'm probably going to do it without weight the first time. Going down. Hold for a count of two or three, and stand back up. Come to a full and complete stop. No California stop, Bill. Learn something new. Whenever you go to move again, make sure those knees stay engaged. Make sure they stay out wide. Guys, now in a monster walk. So a mini squat, stepping back, keep those toes forward. Remember, you're sitting back over your heels. Grab that balance in the middle. You should try not to need both feet on the ground. Keep that back nice and flat as always, just like you are on those dumbbell swings. Good. Now we're gonna be on all fours. First move of the donkey kick. So remember, keep your core braced, but up, just squeezing through the glute here. A very small movement, not big at all. We 
Make sure you're not yeah. arching that back. Really pushing, pushing the sole of your shoe towards the ceiling. Go ahead and switch over the other leg now. Still make those a little smaller moves there. Just find your ends. If that's 100%, come down like 85, and then back up to 100. There's small little pulsing contractions at the top. Good. Now, still all fours into the fire hydrants. We've done these before. Don't let those hips roll. Keep your belly button to your spine so that core is engaged. You're not just hanging on your shoulders. Get that knee out as far as you can without your hips moving. Go ahead and switch sides. You should feel this right in the side of your glute. Your knees should not be going forward and it also should not be going back. Nice, smooth, controlled movement. Good. Last one, bird dog. Kind of combining some things. Hand and knee together under your body, then straight line out. At the top, really engage those hamstrings to keep that leg straight. Engage the back of the shoulder too fast to, prepare for this. to keep Tripping that the arm the straight out. Everybody circling his vultures. Negative, nepotism. Everybody Don't waiting for the father that back. Man. Everybody praying for the end of times. Everybody hoping they can be the one. Sides. I was born to run. I was born for this. Last one right here. Pull me like a race horse. Pull me like a rip. Break me down and build me up. I want to be the slip, slip. Word upon your lip, lip. Rather that you rip, rip. Break me down and build me up. Whatever. And done. Very good. Bonnie, how do your legs feel? Tired? Good. That's what we were going for. I don't like it when I think it's going to be hard on people's legs. They say, no, actually, my arms are tired. It makes me feel like I didn't accomplish my goal. I want to be invisible Looking at my ears like I'm out of dumb Everybody needs to be a part of them Never be enough on the particle sun I was born to run, I was born for this Whip, whip, run me like a race horse Pull me like a rip cord Break me down and build me up I want to be the slip, slip Okie dokie, round two Grab your big weight Doing so much squats first On your mark, get set, go Remember, you're really squeezing through the upper thighs on your way up. Almost imagine that you're like squeezing your heels together. Keep those knees in line with the toes. Don't let them collapse inwards. Or forwards, I guess. Working on something that I'm proud of. Out of the box and the box to the world and the vision we've lost. I'm an apostrophe. I'm just a symbol to remind you that there's more. Good. Grab that lighter weight into a dumbbell swing. We can all give our dumbbells to Bill and he'll teach us how to juggle. Keep that back flat as you go down and then hinge through it as you come up. There you go, Bonnie. Your form's looking good over there. Look at those hips moving before the knees. All righty, here we go. Pause squats now. Bill, I'm joining you. I'm grabbing my weight this time. Down, hold for a count of two, stand back up. Make sure you're still breathing, even though you're having to hold. Don't let those knees come in as you go up. Keep them out. Okay. 
California stops. Excellent. Now it's the monster walk. You know, we did pause squats really early on into this class. And I think all of us are doing infinitely better than when we did it the first time. Excellent. Now go ahead and spin around going the other way. If you need to. Make sure you're holding that mini squat here. Excellent. Onto the ground. With some donkey kicks. Remember, hold yourself. You're not just laying on your hands and laying on your hip. Small little pulsing contractions at the top. Go ahead and switch sides. Over into some fire hydrants now. Lift that knee as high as you can without compromising your hip. And switch sides again. Still breathing here, even though you got your poor brace. And then last one, bird dogs. Remember, everything's engaged from your knee all the way out through your wrist. Jane, how you doing? Where are you feeling it? Perfect. We like it feeling it in the glutes. Go ahead and switch sides. And then be done. Bill, this is your last round right here. Gotta get excited. Gotta show us how it's done. I just want to point out that this is a picture of work-life balance over here. Mentally and physically fit at the same time. I'm somewhat being sarcastic and I'm somewhat actually really impressed. Yeah. She's not on her laptop. She doesn't have a mobile device. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. Yeah, last week was like a, a sprint project mentality and then turned into sickness on like Friday or something.
So. Yeah. Like she's just every morning we get a text. Still dying. I said she'll feel better soon, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I've heard from her. Hi, right. Mark. Joy some sumo squad. Yes, sir. Yo. That would actually be really funny. Oh, nah, 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 nah. Alright, grab your smaller one. Hey. Hey. We don't really proof these videos, so it would be a problem. But it would be really funny if I get a phone call from Stacy. Like, like an HR issue. How'd you know about that? YouTube? <laughs> it wasn't that still secure, it was just YouTube. <laughs> I've actually thought about that with like how open people are on social media and stuff and how it would not be hard to catch people like you said you were doing this and it's like but we have a whole bunch of videos or pictures of you at this sushi restaurant in Missoula yeah alright grab your weight do some pause squats now yeah, the crime ones are always hilarious to me. There was a guy my dad actually used to work with. He stole a cop car. He got away with it for a while. This went a long time ago. But he stole a cop car. Got away with it for a while. And then I think they found it because like his garage door was open. <laughs> He just drove a home party in his garage, so he got away with it. And then, like, two weeks later, his garage is open. Cops happen to pull by. <laughs> hey, we were missing that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Into some monster walks. Well, my thing is, like, you still saw like, you can't do anything with it. You can't take it anywhere. Make sure you're holding that squat form as you're going through this. This move is just like our quadruped move. All about flow control. And onto the ground. Donkey kicks. Has anybody ever trained an attack donkey? I haven't either. I've just heard about them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I feel like they aren't as fierce. Like, but if they were to kick you, go ahead and switch over to the other side. Like a dog, I feel like will never stop. And like an attack donkey might not either. But if they land a solid hoof, you're gone. <laughs> either getting hunted or hurt so badly, you can't leave. Well, I feel like like a, a dog, you at least know they have to get close to you. Whereas a donkey could like get you from four or five feet away. Uh-uh. Good. Now we're into some fire hydrants. Ah, 
and then switch sides. The guy who owns goats on the, a certain grade hill, he go, he works at Tri-State. So Caroline, my wife, has gotten talked to him a good bit. And he has some funny stories about those dogs and like how they just live out in the field. And one time they had a puppy that wouldn't leave the house. And then finally he's like three years old and just never came home. And now he lives with all the goats. So it's like his instincts finally kicked in. Go ahead and last move. We have some bird dogs here. It is amazing though how you can drive past her and this dog just sit in the field and they like know their job. They just watch these animals. And switch sides. And you're done. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Attack donkeys are real thing. <laughs> it probably would qualify as being a jackass. <laughs> One more round. Bill's just a slacker and he's leaving early. <laughs> Brian might leave early with you. <laughs> yeah, we'll see ya. Really? A little shell and I'd be I mean I would believe it. They have some personality on it. Oh, they're just so sweet, yeah. <laughs> I'll also say, there's, so there's some sheep on your way to Joseph. There's like, a lot of times there's a big herd of them. Well, one time, my wife and I were driving by, and they were kind of close to the fence. And I was like, oh, let's just take a picture of them. Well, the dogs are used to people driving by all the time. As soon as we pulled off on the shoulder, you could see his head count the ground like that. And then as soon as that car door opened, he stood up and all the sheep got away. Like, they, he was way up on the hill and they just knew as soon as he stood up, like they needed to leave. But that was, it was like he knew exactly where humans should be and shouldn't be. Here we go. Grab your big weight. We have a sumo squat. Last round, if you want to push yourself, now it's time to do it. Fire mark, get that, close out, go. Remember, squeezing between the legs all the way up. Get those shoulders back. Don't reach for the ground with your weight. Just leave it in the same spot. Very good. Grab your smaller weight. We have some dumbbell swings. Flat back, squeeze into the glute, not the back. Jane, that was so close to being cool. You almost caught it just like way out there. I was, I was gonna be like a fingertip grab. I was gonna be really impressed. Come on, get your pop through your hips. Good. Grab your other weight if you want it. Doing a pause squat now. 
down, get to a solid stop, and then back up. Make sure you're still breathing. Take a nice deep breath at the top. About 10 seconds left. Good. Now into some monster walks. Keep that mini squat. Nice flat back. Controlled. Get your balance in the middle. Try not to use both feet if you don't have to. Make sure those toes are always facing forward. Sitting back. Very good. Last couple of moves on the ground now. Donkey kicks are our first one. Stall towards the ceiling. Small little mini contractions the whole time. And switch sides. Brian, that might have been the most seamless transition ever. That was just quick. Right, that's when you know you're you're a true master when you don't even notice your own transition. <laughs> Very good, into a fire hydrant. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks like both knees were off the ground at the same time, at least from my peripheral vision. I won't go back and check the film, don't worry. It might not be as graceful on YouTube. <laughs> Switch sides now. Just feel it in your glute by now. Thank you, Brian. That makes me feel good that you're feeling it. There you go. Okay, bird dogs, last move. Nice control, flat back. Every muscle that we've used today is getting used in this bird dog. Oh, there you go, Bonnie. Look at that. That is some speed to those bird dogs. And switch sides. I like it. I have to bring my dog in here sometime. He can demonstrate for us. He was pointing at <laughs> this your song right here. Got nothing in my brain. And done. Very good. Say. Mm -hmm. That's what say. But we'll use it as our cool down mm -hmm. song then. Oh no. All better. What an eclectic taste there. <laughs> Already feet straight out in front. Pulling down towards your toes. And then from here, you can even put your hands out to your sides if you need to. 
but just wobble back and forth. Just kind of loosening up that low back. Good. Cross one leg over in front of the other. Just gonna twist the upper body. Brian, you know what we should have installed in here? It's like ventilated floors. Like in fancy cars, you know, they have ventilated seats. Go ahead and switch over to the other side. How great would that be? I know, that's what I'm saying. I feel like that'd be a mess after clean, though. If it was a floor. <laughs> Just imagine like an air hockey table. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd just be blowing out at me right now. It feels so good. <laughs> good. Laying on our sides now. Pulling your heel to your butt. Get a nice little quad stretch. And then switch sides. Yeah. <laughs> we could it could be like a um like a concert where they have the fan that like blows their hair so they look cool. <laughs> then we can also hire like a light guy that he follows me around. He's like dark and all you see is me. Now you're gonna be on one knee, your leg um, out to the side and then sitting back towards your heel. So you should feel this all the way down the inside of your leg. Josh, I kind of feel like Spider-Man in this position. Oh, I never, I never got to ask because you're right here. Um, switch sides. How was the Discovery Center? Is it pretty interactive, like pretty fun for kids? Oh. Oh yeah. I like conceptualize value. Yeah. And then last stretch we're gonna do a hip flexor stretch. Although that's also pretty cool that it's I don't know why. I thought though, the Discovery Center was just going to be like the flora and fauna of the area for some reason. So that could actually be really useful as far as it covers a lot of topics depending on what you're covering in school or something. And switch sides. Okay. It's in Pullman. It's actually on FTL's campus. They... Yeah. It... Yeah. That is all I have for you all today. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a great weekend. If you're at home, feel free to like the video. Feel free to share it with all your friends. See you later.
خدا